time with Colin Galassia. Here we go. Colin, are you ready? I'm ready. If you hosted your own podcast, what would you call it and what are you talking about? Cullen's Corner. I don't know if it would be like a sports podcast or hunting or fishing podcast. I would like to get people from all walks of life and just talk to them. Kind of like a little bit Joe Rogan-ish. What is your favorite thing to do on an off day during the season? Sleep, recover, and watch a ton of Netflix. After a big win, how are you celebrating? Bottles on me. <laughs> if you were gonna trade jerseys with any pro athlete, any sport, who is it going to be? LeBron James. If you get a million dollars, but you have to donate all of it to charity, what charity are you donating to? Probably like St. Jude Children's Hospital. What is your pregame ritual like? I'm pretty chill and I'm listening to like country music, like real slow, just chill out. Got My kind of guy. Yeah. Abby makes fun of me all the time. I said, this is my hype song and played a song. That was terrible. Before we go out and stretch and everything, I'm on the field just like hanging out, cutting up with the guys, throwing the football around. Get dressed, get ready. Still like chilling out, listening to country music. And then we go out, stretch, come back in and I'm, I'm still chilling. And then about five minutes before I know that we're about to go out there, I throw on like Dreams and Nightmares by me. Or like Welcome to the Jungle by ACDC. One, whenever I come out of the tunnel or before a game and after halftime, I sprint down the field just to like, because I know I'm about to have to do kickoff. So I really try to like get my blood flowing a little bit, get my heart rate up. On game days, I always have spaghetti and like steak for breakfast. Spaghetti and beef tenderloin. That's my breakfast on game days. So when you had your long hair, what was your hair care routine like? I still have it. I was just kind of like gross right now. Hair care routine. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? My hair is completely up for grabs, so I'm not going to endorse anyone. I would like to get a hair endorsement by a shampoo company, so I'm not gonna tell y'all which one I use. I'm a just mad that it didn't come today. down till now. Are you kidding me? I shampoo and condition just like everyone else. If I work out, I'm washing my hair. Have you ever tried to style it? Have you ever taken a straightener or curling iron to it? When I get out of the shower, if I brush it once, like it is straight as an arrow. So no, I've never put in a curling iron in it. I do like to get braids. I let my mom like French braid it or get like double dutch braids. I've worn that in public before, so. Is Turn Clay Matthews your hair inspo? For sure. What is the best present that you've ever received and what's the best present that you've ever given? Best present I've ever received. Probably my, my truck, my, my sweet 16 that my parents got me. That was pretty cool. Best one I've ever given. Christmas, I got my brother a new hammock and I got him some pants. I got my mom some like really cool Uggs slippers. I got her like two pairs. I didn't know which ones to buy. A, a speaker for my dad that I use that he has no idea how to use, so. When I was little, my brother convinced me that we should write a letter to Santa and ask for a new drum set. Santa gave us the drum set and guess who has never played the drums? It's you. You are stuck on an island and you get to bring one teammate. Who's it gonna be and why? Okay, I'm gonna give you three, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna talk through it, and by the end of it, I'll decide which one that I want. All but right. I gotta I got my Good. thoughts out. First one will be Max Sharping. One because he's just a huge offensive lineman. Worst comes to worst, I could just eat him. He's also full of just useless information. He's a super super smart guy, so he probably already knows how to survive on an island. Kaimi Fairburn, our kicker, because he's from Hawaii, so obviously he knows how to live on an island. And then our punter Brian Anger. He's a big like fisherman, um, so I feel like that'd be helpful. He does a lot of spear fishing. I'm gonna go with Kaimi because uh, he's from Hawaii, so he has to have some knowledge of a tropical island. I'm gonna let him show me the ways. One day you have to go on to either your favorite movie or your favorite TV show, and then you have to be the favorite character. Who are you gonna be? What movie or TV show are you going to be in? 51st Dates, I'm Adam Sandler. Make Drew Barrymore fall in love with me every day. <laughs> Live in Hawaii, work out in an aquarium. Being Jon Snow would be pretty cool. I'm gonna be Jim from The Office. Your only highlight on Instagram is titled, ha 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 ha, a middle <laughs> school quote that says, why do girls care so much about boys being immature? Are you still wondering this or have you figured it out? I mean, we have acted for the last hour on this podcast. Um, I, I don't I don't understand why, I, mean, I, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't know why I said that in seventh grade yearbook. <laughs> We'll talk later about that one. We'll give you some tips. Yeah, I need that.